Hey guys, it's Brad here again. No, you haven't just seen this video. This is going to be just another one of those must-have miniatures. You just saw one on uh, Lepanthes. This is another Lepanthes, so you haven't seen this one yet, so don't um, go flipping the channel, don't change, you know, don't think you've already seen this video. We're just gonna um, go in here together. Now, I do recommend you watch my um, previous video that I just did because it talks a little bit about the care and how I made these containers here. Got the idea from a viewer. And so this is a warm growing miniature orchid. And it is in bloom right now. I'm gonna pull it out. This one is a tiny little orchid, but it likes it warm and humid. So out it comes, hopefully in one piece. And I'm just gonna hang this on here. So it's got a little bit of new growth happening on it. And we'll get to the flowers in just a sec. Some of the old growth is starting to um, wear a little bit. I'm not sure if that's because of the um, environment it's in, but this is not the first time this guy has bloomed for me. And I notice he's actually, and I haven't had them that long, but um, I noticed that he's in bloom in quite a few spots. So new growth, new growth, old growth, the leaf that's gonna go pretty soon, but look at how beautiful these leaves are. Look at this beautiful little orchid. This is just, I think is I think of it as like a jewel. It's just absolutely beautiful. So that is the orchid itself. That is the flower itself. It rests on the leaf and just sits there very nice looking on these gorgeous leaves. It is a sequential bloomer, so you can see all the old bloom spikes that um, have happened. And this is so tiny, it's hard to even like point them out. But you can see it's bloomed many times in the past off this leaf. And some of the old leaves that are dying have had many blooms on as well. But it's just loaded. This is one that just finished. It's just starting to close up again. And I didn't realize this one that we are looking at right here was even here. I was going to flip this around and show you this guy here. So we're looking at the back side of the plant now. And I was just going to show you that guy there. Because that's the one I thought was in bloom. So absolutely amazing little miniatures though. And I love the leaf. So this plant, again, should be growing um, warm. Uh, it gets about... 18 degrees Celsius nights. That's 65 Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, it likes it warm in the daytime. It's going to want it shaded, um, just like I was saying with the other little miniature there. In the summertime, I'm going to have to reassess how I'm growing this. This little container it's in is working so good for the winter time. Just gets a little bit of dappled sun, and then it's basically in shade for the rest of the day. I take the lid off and put it on as I need it to give it some airflow. There's holes in the container. There's drain holes as well, but um, at nighttime the heating system dries things out. So just like with the other one that I just showed you, it's really only got a tablespoon or two of moss. Look at that, there's another bud. It's only got a tablespoon or two of moss down there. Sorry, we're so zoomed in, it's hard to know where we're looking at. And that thing would be drying out so fast, but the way it sits in, in this larger container of moss, the moss just sort of is touching the base right here where my finger is and wicks up and just keeps it nice and moist continuously. And it is paying me back with lots of new growth. Maybe I should zoom this out a little bit now. And lots of flowers for me. So, and you know what I haven't done? I haven't even told you the name. Lepanthes salatrix. Beautiful little orchid there. So anyways, just another one of those. I'm looking for that one that was in bloom. Just another one of those must have miniature orchids. Now the sad thing about this orchid is the flowers only last for maybe three, four days and then they're gone. But it seems like this is probably the fourth or fifth time it's bloomed since I've had it. So it seems to be quite easy to, um, to grow. Hope you like this video on Lepanthes. I do recommend um, trying them out. These are the kind of orchids that um, you wouldn't be able to grow just on your windowsill very easily. But if you put them in a little glass vase, fishbowl or terrarium, just with a little light there, kept some moss, kept them shaded. I think they would grow really good. Um, I would love to do a, an indoor vivarium tank someday. That's on my wish list, but um, I have so much on the go right now with other stuff that it's just not necessarily going to happen, at least this year. So, Lepanthes salatrix, must have miniature orchid, warm growing, not cool growing, which is different for me. I'm glad I have the warm side of the greenhouse now to grow these in. And yeah, we're going to put them back in its little container. 
I'll zoom you out for this so you can see it kind of go back. Hopefully I can zoom you out for this. And again, I put the baby tears in when I first did the um, container. And I'm thinking pretty soon I might have to take the baby tears out because it's growing so fast. And just put um, a layer of maybe live moss in the bottom would be nice. There we go. And it just sits in there. There we go. Kind of locks in place in one of the little holes that I did. As with the other one, I had to um, melt a few holes in there to see where the proper um, spot was going to be for it. And so the bottom of the mount just touches the moss in the bottom. Super low maintenance for care right now. Um, as opposed to this would be a super high maintenance plant for me in the greenhouse because of the way things do dry out in here. But yeah, there we go. Must have miniature orchid Lepanthes salatrex. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.